Hey, what's up, all? It's Kane. I'm gonna be doing an account overview today, so stick around. So, uh, you may be asking who I am. Well, my in game alias is Big Kane, um, as you can see by all my accounts here. Um, I'm 24 years old. Uh, I live on the east coast of the US, and uh, I've been playing this game now for. 891 days, so a little less than three years. Um, funny story, I actually got into this game um, because I hated the ads so much and I really, really, really wanted them to stop. And so I downloaded the game in hopes that they would stop. Um, long story short, they didn't. And now um, I'm toast. So, you know, I've definitely caught the rock bug. Um, and you can tell by my gem count that I'm most certainly not free to play. Um, this is the most amount of gems that I've ever had at one time. Um, the reason is, and you can't see it here, um, but I do buy the daily every day and I also ended up purchasing the, uh, the holiday bundle. Um, Max purchased it uh, due to the spring event, uh, which is going on right now. So that's a good time to, uh, to play Rock. Um, you know, it's expensive, it's definitely pay to win, but uh, I enjoy it. So, um, kind of going on more into the account, um, you know, VIP 17, I'm thinking about pushing to 18, just raw dogging gems, I know it's bad for the account, but um, the VIP 18 troop capacity is just so tempting. Um, and my total amount spent in this game is about $12,300 over the course of, of uh, my life. Um, which, funny enough, if you do the math, comes out to about thirteen twenty a day, uh, which is kind of like a normal hobby. You know, I'm not trying to justify it, but uh, it's not too bad. Um, similarly, uh, you know, my spending recently has kind of increased because I feel pressured to uh, to reach a few goals that I have, and I'll go over the goals here in a minute. Um, but first of all, uh, what kingdom I, am I in? Leadership roles, friends that I play with, all that good stuff. Um, so as you can see in the top left, I'm in 2638. Um, good kingdom. We're in a C seed at the moment. Um, we are actually just now registered for Heroic Anthem KVK, so matchmaking is obviously occurring over the next six days. Um, that'll be fun. I really wanted to try the new KVK, um, but we kind of did a democratic vote, and we voted for um, the Heroic Anthem again. So as far as Alliance members, uh, where is it? Here we go. Uh, we have a king rotation. Um, generally, it's you know Ivan, Twist, myself, Quan, uh, Beast occasionally, and then uh, you know we've got these people as well. Um, we got this guy. So for uh, Zach or R Zach, however you however you say it, um, he is actually pushing for Zenith, um, which is also going on right now. I was thinking about going for it. The requirements in my uh, continent are kind of you know kind of low. Um, but I don't know, it's still 19.5 for 10th place at the moment, but, um, I'm hoping he doesn't get pushed out, but I think, uh, according to him, he can push about 40, 45 million power, so he should be good. As far as our other events, uh, coming up, or not coming up, but that we have, we've got this arms training, um, I'm fortunate enough to be holding number one at the moment, um, the gold heads are obviously really insane if you can win this event, um, I'm happy to do a guide on this event if other people would like, but. Basically, in order for you to win it, you have to be extremely, extremely tedious, and it'll take you about an hour of uh, rage loading your march, and then hitting it with a full rage bar with a certain combination um, with a primary that shields. So uh, if you take the hint, uh, where is it? Alex, right? Get your Alex in there. Um, put a commander like Scipio behind him, and uh, you're good to go. Um, I guess since we're already opening up the uh, commander tab, I can go ahead and show you guys all the commanders that I have and kind of go through what I plan on using this upcoming KVK. Um, first of all, I kind of designed my account to have three main marches, right? And so um, if you're at all familiar with the meta currently, you will know that uh, the first one is Guan Scipio. Um, I've obviously got some pretty nice gear on here. Um, <laughs> And uh, the armaments are pretty nice. So currently looking at about, I mean, I count all damage as kind of times two. So 2.6% stats here. Um, 
do another, I don't know, five. So we can just say two plus five. So we're looking at about seven, 14, and then, I don't know, maybe 23, uh, 24. And then we've got uh, 2.5, so that's you know, 26 and a half, and then 3.5. So we're looking at about 30% stats uh, on my main uh, infantry march. Uh, and before you ask, yes, <laughs> I did spend a lot of money. Um, I didn't max uh, any of the bundles, but uh, I was buying the $5 daily for a little while. And then I did also participate in the most recent armament event, which uh, was quite nice. Funny enough, I actually didn't get any upgrades for this set. Uh, what I did get are upgrades for this set. Um, so I use Pen of Eternal Night, right? Another War Drums. I need to iconic this set. I just finished iconicing. Iconicing? Is that a word? Anyway. Um, fully iconic my cav set, and I'm working on my infantry. I gotta uh, get one on, on this War Drum that I just made. So, um, anyway, to go back to the, the armaments here, um, you know, like I said, these aren't insane. All damage 1.3 is quite nice. The Arch Attack 1.8, but obviously it's not a triple stat. It does have a nice. Um, inscription on it. This one is the lowest roll triple stat legendary I think I've ever seen in my life. Uh, it's really not that good. It's worse than most epics, but it's the best I have. Uh, this one obviously isn't great as well. Uh, it's fine. The arch attack is very high. The archer defense and obviously damage to barbs is useless. But this is my bread and butter. This is basically what I spent the whole $300 on the <laughs> armament event for that came up recently. Um, 2.5% counterattack damage and decently roll triple stats. This armament is insane. Uh, then we got my calves. Um, like I said, another war drum, fully iconic. Um, I put my dagger on this because usually my Nesky connects first. Uh, I want to get that debuff rolling. Um, and before you ask, uh, yes, I have a lot of drums. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll go over my, my total account um, in a bit, but. Um, I'm basically creating this account as a KVK 2 and 3 uh, monster account and a sock hybrid. So uh, yes, I do have five war drums. Most of my accessories can be used in KVK 2 and 3, except for my one uh, Horn of Fury on my Gwan. Uh, I also don't use Trajan in the open field, so there's a reason, uh, you know, I'm not worried about overraging, uh, just simply because, yeah, I don't have a Trajan or a normal Joan of Arc, I kind of, I do use William, uh, but now I'm just jumping all around. So let me, I'll get to my William in a bit. Anyway, going back to uh, my Cav armaments, uh, my Cav armament stats are actually fairly high. The 3.5% uh, Cav March speed is nice. This thing kind of just flies around the field. I'm looking at about 20% of stats here. Um, and then we've got the 2.5, so, you know, 22.5% of stats, and then this is absolutely insane. I think it's completely underrated, the 5% counterattack damage when surrounded. Cavs obviously get surrounded the most, um, in my opinion. You know, you've got your XY, you've got your Nevsky, they're usually the first into the battle, and by definition, they're kind of um, the first one seen. So, uh, when you're looking at a, you know, XY or a uh, Nevsky primary that also deals that extra 5% counterattack damage, it's, it's pretty scary. Um, speaking of XY, this was pretty much my first legendary investment when I hit Season of Conquest. Uh, I mean, at this point, a few years, like a year and a half ago, um, before I migrated back to KVK2 with this kingdom. Anyway, long story. I'll go over that. Um, but this is my XY. This is obviously my secondary cav gear. It's just a full epic set with a uh, with the war drums. I'll upgrade and refine that soon. But like I said, my goal is to finish these three main sets first. I know that if I wanted to evenly balance my open field set you know i would upgrade my uh, my helmet here and my boots here with probably the uh the set you know get the two set and then move on but you know i i don't know i, I find myself fighting with three marches um more often than not just because of how much better it feels to play um and how easy it is to micromanage i mean i'm, I'm trading like 20 for one sometimes with with quantum it's pretty disgusting Anyway, I run my XY. This is my secondary cav armaments. They're pretty good. Um, they're actually very good for a secondary cav arm armament. Um, and then I pair him with my William, who, like I said, I'm buying the dailies for now. Um, I've only bought the dailies for him. I haven't invested in him because I listened to good old Daddy Chizgool's this <laughs> advice, and I, and I don't invest in the past, right? I only put my um, investments into future commanders um, or brand new commanders. So... Um, Anyway, he's 5552. Five, Honestly, you really don't need to get him past 5551, five, five, but, um, you know, I, I 
find my XY just gets melted so often in the field, and he's such a target. He's so good, but he's such a target that um, I'll probably drop him when the new cab commanders get released and run like a, I mean, either new commander William or like, you know, Nevsky William, new commander Jones, something like that, whatever the meta turns out turns out to be. Um, obviously, I've got this Joan maxed. Um, and yeah, so um, I've kind of gone over my Guan Scipio. I use my YSG with Boudicca. That's obviously a classic. Um, I use my Nevsky with Joan, my XY with William. And then my last march, uh, I'm currently working on the Sargon. So this is my next uh, investment. Obviously, you know, I don't have many heads because I'm trying to just dump them all. I want them to get of expertise by the time the first pass opens in, in KBK. Uh, secondary, you know, Infantry, uh, armaments, there's a lot of stuff on here. You know, I've got 3% skill damage on Sargon, which is pretty nice. 5% uh, more stats, and then, you know, 4.4 technically of all damage, and then, yeah. Anyway, um, so I run Sargon with Alex. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and I want to just be very clear. If I had even sets of gear uh, between my two infantry sets, and I didn't have, you know, this one insane set and this one oops, uh, kind of mediocre set, then I would be running Guan Sargon and then uh, Scipio Alex. I do understand that the synergy between Sargon and um, Scipio is great, but you pair anyone with Scipio and, and it's going to be insane. I think the shield synergy um, here with Sargon and Alex is great. I like his debuff hitting three targets plus uh, a 50% chance of it triggering an additional time. And obviously the shields uh, increase the skill damage of Guan. Um, and I, I just... Sargon is just, he's good, uh, I just want him to connect and actually be able to deal that damage, so, um, anyway, so that's my 5 march, um, my 6th march, I don't have the gear for, um, I, you know, I only have 5 sets of gear currently, but, uh, you can probably see earlier in the video, uh, I mean, I just crafted my, uh, my drum, so I don't have many materials now, um, but I'm only making <laughs> ebony, because my next march is gonna be a, uh, Archer March when the new Archer comes out. So um, I'll probably end up pairing, uh, where's my Boudicca? Boudicca with my Expertise Tommy. Um, you know, once the Relic releases and uh, this gets a little March speed and health, and then I will probably pair the new Archer with YSG, and then I'll have that uh, that 6th March. Uh, I'm not currently using Ethel Flood. I know she's good. Um, I just don't really have a spot for her right now. Um, I wouldn't really drop any of my commanders to run her. Um, I also have uh, Expertise Mulan, uh, who is really, really good uh, with the new Echelon formation, but you know, I just I just don't have time, so or don't have the space or the resources, quite frankly. Um, here's my Trajan. You know, I, I spun the wheel when he first came out, like a long time ago. Kind of a waste of gems. I, I really don't plan on ever using him. I know he's good, but I mean, if you're not running around with seven marches, I really don't think uh, Trajan has a spot. I'm currently applying for a few of the MGEs for Heraclius. You know, I'm not a garrison player. You can look at my commanders. Um, you know, level one, <laughs> Honda's level one. I mean, Honda's not garrison, but you know, Jed. We've got you know Artie. We've got Flavius, right? Like, I'm not a, a rally or garrison player. I'm just strictly open field. Um, so yeah, uh, as far as <clears throat> what I plan to do this KVK, my my goal realistically is. Uh, three billion kill points. Um, I think that that's certainly worth it, um, or certainly achievable. Um, and I, you know, I, at my spend level, there's really no excuse to getting less than that. Um, my resources are really quite nice at the moment. Um, I'm not a hoarder. <laughs> I know a lot of people are in this game. Um, for resources anyway. I don't, I don't really hoard resources. Um, I use them pretty often. The speed ups, however, um, I'm a big hoarder, so I've been saving. Uh, my ultimate goal is um, another Zenith win. You can see that I've got, you know, this one right here, which is the 15% um, infantry attack. And I'm an aggressive player, so I like using attack. I know that the trades aren't necessarily as good, but I like killing people quickly. So um, anyway, so, you know, I, my goal is to win another Zenith. Um, you know, I've got the Archer skin already um, from KVK3 win. It only gives 10% attack, but, you know, it's better than average. Um, I've got the healing skin as well. I placed top 20 honor in there as well. Um, and then I've got this. So I've got the infantry. I've got the Archer. I'm going to eventually um, purchase the 
uh, divine abode for the next um, next KVK I get into. We'll see if I can get enough coins, but I want to buy the mats and the discounted heads, and then we'll see what else I can buy. I already have two Ring of Doom fragments. Yes, I know I said that I'm KVK 2 and 3 hybrid, but this accessory is so insane that I've got two of these, and they're next on my craft list. Um, but, yeah, so I'm going to get the calf skin, and the only thing that's left is an open field skin. Yes, Twilight Falls is really good, but, God, if they come out with an 8% um, health theme for all troop types, it's going to be absolutely ridiculous. I know that um, Divine Abode, I believe, is the um, the other city skin that is just absolutely crazy, right? Uh, let's see if I can find it. Oh, no. Dynastic Conquer. Sorry. 8% um, truth troop defense for all troop types and then minus cav attack i mean if this was eight percent health you know i mean this could be minus ten percent health and it would still be one of the most insane city skins of all time so that's the end goal um once i get that i'm not gonna uh hoard uh for any more zeniths but um if you do the math on all my speeds i have about 6.4 or 6.2 years um i am a very very active player so i spend all my downtime in kvk barb chaining with richard ysg um, I know it's insane, it's time consuming, and I'm a spender, so I don't really need to, but, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a grinder, you know, I played a WoW for way too much of my life, and, <laughs> you know, that game's all about the grind, and I, I don't know, I enjoy it, I enjoy farming them. Um, last KVK, I was able to get 30 million kills without even using universal speedups or breaking into my resource tokens, because I was just uh, cheeseburgering the whole time with Scipio Alex and trading, like, 20 for 1, it's kind of insane. Um, this is the boost, right? Um... Yeah, I, I constantly have these running. Uh, there really is not a time of the day where I don't have this, you know, the production boost and the gathering boost going. Um, not saying it triggers me, but there are some uh, YouTubers that I watch out there that don't have all these buffs running and, ooh, aren't gathering. Wow, yikes. Um, I swear they were gathering at the start of this video, but um, I'm an active gatherer. Um, I think I've farmed alone like 20 billion resources. Um, my priority for gathering um, really is, is gems over everything. I use all other resources too, um, but if I see a gem node, I will uh, absolutely farm it. Um, obviously, you generally want to be on territory for the marching, or yeah, for the uh, march speed um, and the gathering speed increase. Um, you know, I, I gather a lot of gold and I gather a lot of um, gems, so that's kind of really where I'm at. I do spend, <laughs> but I also try to eke out. Um, all the free-to-play value that I can, uh, because that's just kind of how my brain works. So, um, yeah, I think this is a good good stopping point for the account um, overview. I'm obviously excited uh, to play this KVK. My goal is to play another two or three um, Season of Conquest KVKs, uh, and then I will migrate back to a KVK2 um, with some of the absolute most busted combinations ever. Um, I'll, buy, I'll finish buying the Edward... Uh, dailies and uh, expertise in that way. No, I'm not putting gold heads into him, Chris Gold. Don't get mad at me. Um, I know he's terrible, but in KVK 2 and 3, he's pretty insane. Um, and uh, yeah, you know, Edward Tommy and, and all those good stuff. El Cid. These are all just through gold keys. You know, I'm not doing anything besides that. Um, but yeah, so if uh, you guys want me to make another video, I know this video now is probably way too long, um, but just talking about my absolute best of the best. Um, 5 March for KVK 2 and 3, um, my updated sets and the kind of kills that I get with these commanders, um, and maybe when I get that 5 or 6 March, um, or I guess 6 or 7 March murder ball going, uh, kind of what I would use. Um, I think XY is really the weak point, so I think he's going to be dropped soon, but um, yeah, honestly, the account's in a great spot. I mean, I hope it would be <laughs> for the amount that I play and the amount that I spend, but um, yeah, we'll see where it goes. So. Um, appreciate you guys tuning in, guys, and uh, I will give you some updated KVK clips and uh, maybe a little spice for Zenith when um, <laughs> when this thing finishes up. So, oh god, looks like he fell to 11th place. All right, he's got a train. <laughs> anyway, take care, guys, and uh, I will see you all later on. Peace out.